Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the beatdown by Sonic Faction and how to make a simple EDM beat. We're going to start by adding a blank MIDI track and then dragging a beatdown instrument onto that track. Now I've already created a clip that will be suitable for this video and what we're going to do is we're just going to copy it over to our new blank beatdown. Now let's start with the kick drum. We're going to unmute the kick drum and we're gonna use our selector to pick which kick drum we wanna use. This one sounds pretty good. Add in the snare, do the same. Get a clap for some more high end. Now for the hats. Now after we've selected our hats, I'm going to click on the closed hat tab in the drum rack. I'm going to mess with the blend knobs and the brightness knobs. What that's going to do is it's going to make our hi-hat a little brighter and it's going to blend it with another hi-hat sound. I'm going to do the same for all the other hi-hats. Giving the shaker some FM mod will give it a little bit of grittiness. Now let's start with our first percussion piece. So I'm going to solo the first percussion piece right here. And then use my selector to choose which percussion I want. Let's go for a higher register on this one. A little bit of distortion will make it stand out a little more. Give it some reverb. So now we're playing with the delay and the delay time. This might be something fun to modulate. So if you right click on delay time and click show modulation, it's gonna come up with this window here. You have to make sure your knob is fully engaged, otherwise you won't get the range you want to do something like this. That sounds cool. Moving on to percussion two. Let's pitch that down a little bit. Change the decay time to make it sound shorter. Now we're going to play with the re-trigger amount and the re-trigger time. This is going to give it sort of a buzzsaw, rapid fire type of sound. Now playing with the FM modulation is also going to give it a grittiness, sort of a distortion feel. Ooh, that sounds cool. We'll add a little reverb. Let's modulate that. Just for a quick snippet of reverb. Might give it a little different feel to it. Sounds pretty cool. Now to the last piece of percussion. This sounds somewhat like a typical house type of sound. And we're gonna use the LFO and the LFO rate to kind of morph this. Change the decay time. Up the pitch by about an octave. A little bit of compression never hurt anybody. Add in some reverb. As you'll notice, the FM modulation seems to morph the sound quite a bit. Almost into a whole nother sound. Let's see what we got. Now we're going to 
adjust some velocity levels just for some final touches. And now you have a simple EDM beat. part about the beatdown is the global effect track. As you can see, you can get some pretty glitched out type of sounds. Pretty interesting stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody, and don't forget to check out the beatdown at sonicfaction.com.